Hey guys, this is Jeff. Gonna just try to do a quick video on this bearing. It's a solar quartz with sapphire crystal, and the dimensions on it are 41 millimeters, uh, 11 millimeters thick, and the lug to lug is about is about uh, 46 and a half millimeters. And this is the packaging that comes in. Pretty nice little packaging. Interesting thing about this thing, or weird thing about this, is it had a hang tag. I would I wish I would have saved it. That said. Um, that the MRSP was $230. And for that price point, I would be disappointed. But I got it for about $130 off eBay. But I think you could get it for a little less. There's some people on there taking best offers and stuff like that. At, uh, at 100 I think it's not bad at all. But this is a brochure. You know, it's got like some imagery that makes me think of like, you know, if Ikea made a watch. And it shows that you know, you could use the little jar to hold candles or put a flower. And it is a nice little jar, though, actually, all jokes aside. It's a pretty nice little jar. And here's some of the extra links that I took out. It's a push pin. Push pin all around. Butterfly class, which I'm not a big fan of butterfly class. But yeah, the I'm not sure what kind of movement's in here. I'm not sure what kind, but you know, when I got this, the orange chronograph hand, it was off center, you know, it was to the left like one tick and it was bothering me. So I went online and I figured out how to like realign it, you know, to get it to point at the 60 like it's supposed to. And it does it the same way a Seiko would, a Seiko quartz. I don't know if this is a Seiko quartz in here, a Seiko solar quartz or just some kind of clone of it, but I was able to get it to line back up with the 60 the same way you would a Seiko, so I'm not sure. But yeah, the chronograph actually does work. Does all the little chronograph stuff. You know, I'm not really sure how to time stuff with it, but it does do it. And this, um, this bezel is decorative. It doesn't rotate in any way. That would have been cool. But I believe it has a ceramic inlay there that insert it's like ceramic looking and it looks pretty nice you know i think it has some nice design elements and um you know these buttons are okay would have been nice if they were a little bigger but they're easy to push this crown is not screwed down it's kind of a little and dinky would have been better with a nicer crown finishing on it's okay for the most part um it's weird it has like media blasting on this side but then over here it has it, but it's like they kind of started to polish it and it's just kind of brushed there in the middle of it. It says that the water resistance is five ATM. What is that five atmosphere? So not a ton of water resistance. And yeah, just um, to me, I'm just not a huge fan of the polish. Really usually on anything would have been better if this was all brushed, I think would have looked better. And yeah, the, just to me, the bracelet, the bracelet and the crown are kind of the weak points of this watch, but it's really not a bad looking watch. I like some of the design elements and stuff. To me, this watch is a little dressier looking. You know, you could wear it with whatever you want, obviously, but I think, you know, if you just had like t-shirt, a t-shirt and shorts on, some sandals, you know, just something super casual, this watch is a little dressier to me, you know? Just a t-shirt and shorts might be better with a diver watch or something a little low key. This might be better for the office, something like that. Got a collared shirt on, you know. But yeah, it's really not a bad looking watch to me. It's really not bad looking at all. But yeah, I think if you get this at, you know, under $100, it's a pretty good deal because I mean, yeah, solar quartz with a sapphire crystal, it's really hard to find a watch with those specs. I wish I knew what movement with this is. If anybody happens to know, you know, feel free to let me know. But yeah, it's really not a terrible looking watch. It comes in a black dial and it also comes in a white dial. The white dial looks pretty cool. And yeah, this blue, it's kind of a darker blue. You know, it's not a real bold blue pretty low key, but it's definitely blue. I think it would be notice noticeable that it's blue by someone standing next to you. 
in, a, in the sunlight it pops a little bit more the color comes out a little more but definitely closer to a navy blue But all right guys just wanted to let you check these out yeah you know, they got them on ebay and amazon and for about a hundred it's not bad it's really not bad at all all right thanks guys